Yeah, February 1st, day before Groundhog's Day, very appropriate. Um, 2013, approximately 35 years after seeing for the first time, uh, in the home of a friend of mine, designed by his father, a uh, heatilator. I'll start with uh, one of the things that makes it so green. Those little solar panels right here hooked in parallel to a battery. The battery hooked to a um, small 12 volt DC computer fan. This end of this big tube is sealed. That end is sealed down there. And then all these run off it and come out and there's the hot air. And a little later we're going to go in and test it out. And I'll uh, give you a report in degrees and so on and hours in the Mount Woodburn. So take care and have a good day. Bye. Well, still 1st of February. I thought trying to get this tested before Groundhog's Day just in case. I you can see I've cleaned out the fireplace. Got the grating out, and uh, I'm going to move the heat later and put it in there, and uh, plug, you know, plug all the wires in for the fan, and get everything in there and build a fire in the grating that'll be in the heat later. So uh, here we are. Take care. <laughs> well, stage two got it this far now. I can Take a little rest and turn it 90 degrees clockwise and put it in. Get it sort of balanced and set up. Put the grating there in. Hook the battery wires up here. Now right here. And then get the fire going. Hopefully it'll work. I even got a thermometer to check the temperature. <laughs> Take care. Well, all right, she's all together, ready to light the fire. Uh, you can tell the fan's on because the light's on. Right at the moment, I think it's on low, which is what I wanted to start at. And I've got buckets of water just in case. So, here we go. Uh... By the way, you can see it's 60.8 in here on that one, and on this one, where are we here? What are we at? Uh, uh, maybe 65. Okay. Well. Fire's just starting as you can see and not a lot of smoke coming out into the room. Well, a little bit. Now what's going on? What did I do? Hit the goddamn flu? Shit. That sucks. Well, I gotta open that. Okay. Alright. Now it seems to be functioning properly. I don't see any smoke coming out, so I guess I didn't crack that one. I hope. I was worried I broke one of the wells. We'll see. Now, the proof is in the pudding. Where are we here? No temperature change yet. So, anyway, See how this progresses.
Uh, Mike, this is George. I'm just starting the heat later. I'm making a video of it, so I'll put it on YouTube. I was going to talk to you while, uh, you know, live action here. I've got a bucket of water ready just in case. <clears throat> and obviously the first thing I'm going to do tomorrow when I get uh, over to the uh, hardware store is buy a um, carbon monoxide detector. We have a smoke detector, but anyway, take care. Bye. Hey, Teresa, I finally, I got it in the fire, I got it working. Yeah, I didn't have to do, I didn't have to do the box thing, but yeah, we did a little bit of a miscalculation on some of the angles, and it was real tight, and I'm afraid I broke one of the welds, so I'll probably have to take it out and re-weld it. But if you want to come over and trip out for a while, you're welcome to. Oh, did he catch some trout or bass or what? Cool. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Well, whatever. Yeah, yeah, okay. All right, I'll, I'll, you're going to be up for a while? I'll give you a call and tell you how warm it gets. <laughs> Okie doke. Okay, bye. It's kind of hocus pocus and not pretty, but <clears throat> as I was telling the other guy, Rick, uh, and everybody, you know, I really don't care about the cosmetics on this one. If it works, then I'll make more, but. That's a, uh, the fan? That's a computer fan. It's on low right now. When the flame gets higher, I'm going to turn it up and turn the fan up a little higher. Oh, shit. i got to get a screen to hang over it. It's sending out sparks onto the carpet. I'm not going to have it on, you know, when I'm asleep. And first thing tomorrow, I'm going to go get a carbon monoxide uh, detector. I've got a smoke detector. That you probably remember. So, uh... Yeah, I was hoping you'd make it up here. I don't know whether we're going to have it or not. Bruce was really... He got a whole bunch of work today. And he had to get a tire, or get his wheels for his truck. Because they're over at, uh on Ross's truck apparently and uh, but I I think he got done he was finishing the second one and only had a little bit to do on the third one nothing with the car yet though. how'd you get up here on the bus sir yeah 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 I'm, I'm making a video of this by the way Boink. Oh, I mean, a video. A video camera's on. Oh. <laughs> the pipe extension. Uh, I'm going to turn it up. 
at least the medium now and see what goes on. But hey, warm air is coming out. I knew the thing would work. It was just a question of whether we could get the welds done right. What the hell? But, uh, oh, here it is. Oh, man, way cool. I mean, way warm. <laughs> Believe it, a warm winter. <laughs> Man, it's been fucking cold up here. That's Not in the last two week. It's like summer or spring. But uh, so far, I, I first smoke came out. I went, oh shit! You know, it was coming out. And what happened was, when I put it in, I hit the flu. So I quickly got in there and opened it. I think that cut down on your firewood too. That's the point. <laughs> Jerry was telling me he used 10%, 8, 10-15% the amount of wood to heat his house. <clears throat> once he got it going, once he got his working. That fireplace is just right there, it's not, go, it doesn't have... It doesn't do jack shit with, I mean, by itself. <clears throat> But it's basically a very primitive uh, forced air heating, you know. It's psychedelic. Yeah, really. It's like it's, come alive when it's fired. Can you see the? Yeah. yeah. I got to turn it up to high. He said uh, he recommended getting a multi-speed fan and. Uh, Yeah. Oh man, way good. You get some of that heat coming out here instead of out the chimney. Exactly. <laughs> and the, the other guy, Rick, he went fishing today. And I just called Teresa to tell him that I got it working. And uh, he caught a whole bunch of trout. So yeah. we had, at Marina, we got to get fishing licenses. He said yeah, they're, they're the fishing's good the there. JJ. Yeah. The place, huh? But a fishing license is like forty-five bucks for a year. But, a day, huh? a day for seven, he said. Yeah, but I'd just as soon get one for a year because if the fishing's good, you know. Well, yeah, it's the beginning of the year. Well, no, he he said. Uh, they don't give you a year after you buy it. No, it goes December to December, I think. Yeah. Yeah, it's not 365 days from when you buy it. That's true. Huh. I made a small fire just to... Yeah. But I'm going to get a screen and cut the, cut the tubing. <coughs> And make them all the same length and then just hang a screen there. Maybe even fold it down inside the big tube. And you yeah. have those running all over the place. Yeah. Extensions. Yeah. Screw on. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah. I need a record set. I'm going to still this. This is. So he might not have it, huh? Huh? Might not have it, huh? Well, I, you and Teresa can go ahead if you want. If even Bruce doesn't, but Bruce was the one whose idea it was. He and Debbie have a bunch of stuff they want to get rid of to clear, get some space. Wonder how my car is doing. He's, he's gotten a little bit more work done on it, but he said his back, it, it was cold over there last week, and yeah, uh, cool. his back was hurting, so he didn't do anything. Yeah, I hooked up with a trumpet player and a, a reggae drummer. Uh huh. She,
All right, here we are still on February 1st, 2013, day before Groundhog's Day. Uh, I think it's the second is the Groundhog's Day. Um, we're up about almost five and a half or six degrees warmer in how long? Maybe an hour and a half. Put a little screen there. Fire's dying down, but it's okay. I don't want to overdo it on the first time. But uh, the fan on high, and uh, it's been in there quite, you know, as I say, the fire's been going an hour and a half, so it's got the uh, uh, pipes good and hot. It's really cranking out the heat. And since I was saying I was going to put this on YouTube and all that, I think I'll uh, do the other thing I promised and do a little music for the heat. See if we can make some happy sounds. You got the idea. I sure do. I'm digging this heat. <laughs> There's warmth in the house. 